In November of 2022, I set myself a challenge to create a hardcore world and do as much as I can. However, by the end of the month, I must delete the world. By the end of the 30 days, I had survived 1,000 days in this world. And this is the full series of those videos put together. If you're going to enjoy the video, please consider liking and subscribing because it does help out the channel a lot. And yeah, please enjoy. All right, let's do this. Now, I could sit here and do the classic wood and stone montage, you know, the one I'm talking about. But instead, I'm going to quickly list off the nine challenges that I have set myself to complete in 30 days. Challenge one, get the best possible set of enchanted neverite armor. Challenge two, make a full beacon with every type of block, except neverite, I'm not crazy. Challenge three, obtain the rare axolotl and rare mushroom cow. Challenge four, get a double chest full of elytras. Challenge five, make a fully automated farm for pretty much all crops. Challenge six, make a perfect auto automatic chest sorter. Challenge 7, get every single advancement in the game. Challenge 8, make a giant enderman farm. And challenge 9, set up a giant villager trading hall. This episode, I'm pretty much just going to get myself set up. In fact, I'm fairly confident by the end of this episode, I'll have the first challenge completed with the Neverite. And then in the next episode, we'll look at doing some more stuff. But if you want to keep yourself associated with these episodes, make sure to like the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel. You have to keep yourself on track on board. Yeah, let's do this. Well, that just made life a a million times easier. I see a village. And there's even a broken portal on it. Oh, that's even better. Before I enter this village, though, I am going to need a lot of wood. So I'm just going to... And with my stone axe broken, I got myself nearly two stacks of wood. Not bad. What's in this chest? Yeah, nothing special. And the sun sets after a pretty successful day one, all things considered. My next job, and I'm not kidding, is I need to get full diamond armor. All right, first things first, I need to grab a bunch of iron. So let me just, uh... God, that's a lot of iron. I also want to point out with all this iron that I'm getting, at this point we're talking about probably over a stack. I haven't found a single diamond yet. Like, look how big this cave is and just no diamonds whatsoever. Iron, 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 iron. Ow, they ruined the shot. Doesn't have this diamonds right there. I already can tell you now, just looking at it, that is just a one vein of diamond. No more. Give us more. Oh, wow, one vein of diamond. Who'd have seen that one coming? Oh, wow, one vein of diamond. Who'd have seen that one coming? It's also worth pointing out at this point that I have so much iron. Look at that. And there's still over a stack cooking in the furnace. I'll still get this last little bit and then we're going to head up. Now, I could easily go back into the caves and just mine all the duck down dim downs that are fine. But I kind of want to speed up the process a little bit. Now, there's a couple ways I can go about this. Option one is I just get a ah. lectern boy in. Him give me all the bookshelves I need to do a level 30 enchanter. Option two is I do a little bit of village manipulation to see if I can get myself a fortune free book. Are both are actually all right options. So the first thing we need to do is we need to trap ourselves to villager. Now it's not pretty, but if I'm right, now all I gotta do is this. And eventually I should get a fortune free book. I'm sort of at a bit of a sticky wicket here because I do have a fortune free book. The trade isn't great, but it's also paper. Now there is a potential that you can get a bookshelf trade and a really good book trade. So I'm sort of weighing up the options whether I wanna do this and I kind of think I don't, so I think, though I'll probably regret it, I'm going to keep trying to get the trade in to get both bookshelves and fortune. Might be here for a while. We got it, boys! Fortune won! God damn it. But there is a bookshelf trade, so I am actually going to keep it. Now I have to go and get a bunch of emeralds, so that means I need to go and make me a flash of them. Ah, perfect. You look like you want some sticks, and so I'm going to give you some. And he's already maxed out, of course he is. Oh, I'm gonna have to do a bit of a montage of me cutting down trees, aren't I? And many a trade later, we should be good to go. Three, we are done. Fortune free iron pickaxe. Now, it's not diamond, so it's not great, but we'll take it. And with that now, we can now head back into the caves and actually see about mining all the diamonds we can. If I've done the maths correctly, I need 24 diamonds for my armor, an extra nine for my tools, 
two more for the enchant table, and then maybe an extra ten more for, you know, whatever I want in the future. Let's go ahead and get about stack, so, uh, you know, let's, let's get back in the cave. The good news is I know exactly how to get all these diamonds. The bad news is I have to strip mine to do it, so, uh, luckily for you guys, you don't have to watch much of this. And so, I stripped mine with the ultimate goal to get as many diamonds as possible. It actually didn't take me too long to get my first vein of diamonds at all. 18? What? How many diamonds was that? I'm pretty sure we are on about hour three of strip mining and I'm giving up all hope. Apart from that one vein of diamonds that I found all that ways away. It's, this is, uh, this is exhausting. I am, I'm so, oh, come on. I got four from four. Why did the first time I get so many? And a couple of juicy diamond veins later, I was making some good progress. In fact, I was almost done with my first goal. Now, if I'm right, 46 should be enough for me to do everything I wanted to do. But I personally think that maybe I should just get to a stack. I mean, there's no such thing as too many diamonds, am I right? So, uh, this would be the last diamonds that we need. 66 diamonds, and uh, it only took about four hours of mining. Now we've got that done, let's head back. This armor never took damage. I'm actually kind of impressed. You know what I didn't get though? Obsidian. Uh, I'm gonna need to go back and get some. I do have one little sneaky way to quickly get some obsidian. This has got to be one of the worst goddamn never spawns I think I've ever had. And one book later. That is not how you make an enchant, Daniel. You are a fool. So, oh, I'm gonna need to trade more. Yeah, I'll take it. And done. Now, what I'm going to have to do is get a bunch of levels. And I feel like the easiest way to do that is... And I kind of jump in a few steps here. I'm going to go murder the dragon. The nether. After entering the nether, I set myself two goals. Firstly, to find myself the warped forest, since that would be the easiest way to get ender pearls, And then to find myself a nether fortress to get blaze rods. Though you'll soon see that I was definitely having issues in the nether, I did start by getting extremely lucky. Well, all right then. This is actually perfect, because it's literally one of the two places I'm going to be looking for. For, and that is the second place that I'm going to be looking for. So, I uh, think I've done all right for myself. Oh, my God. Idiot. I think it would make more sense for me to get blaze rods first. So, I'm going to just make my way over and maybe kill some enemies along the way. Oh, I cannot believe my luck. I did it again. <laughs> that bloody skeleton just shot the... Oh my god, I, I'm playing terribly. Endless base border, let's go! Alright, this will make life easier. Ah, that's 10. Alright, we're done. I guess now I should probably go and deal with the ender pearl situation. That's 11, but I am out of food. So I think I should just take my tactical leave and come back if I need to. But now that I have basically everything to go, there is only one more thing that I really need to do. And that is to give myself a really good bow enchant. I'm going to be honest with you, if this doesn't get infinity, this is all been a waste of time. God damn it. Well, I'm going to plan B. I'm not going to go ahead and get even more levels. That was quick. And infinity book. Okay, cool. All right, then. Where are we? Oh, okay. <laughs> well, there's only one time I'm ever going to be here for the most part, so get as much as these as we can. All right, then. Let's, uh, let's do this. I love it when my first arrow shot is on the dragon. There you go. And we did it all for this bit right here. Let's see those levels increase. <laughs> nice. Oh, thank God, my last enchant as well. Now, I still need looted on my sword, and I still need to put on breaking free on my boots, but... Oh, and of course, mending. But for the most part, this is some pretty good gear. And what is the most simple way to get the mending and the looting and the unbreaking free? Well, it's back to the villagers, because I am going to get all three of them via book trades. Okay, that's technically set up. It's not perfect, but now I've got to do this until I get either mending or breaking, something along those lines. Uh, I'm hoping... Hopeful this won't take too long. Oh, uh, do I really want an unbreaking one? I, I don't. I don't. That's that's way too much hassle. Let's just get unbreaking. I will break it too. Just uh, yeah. the thing is, it's ten emeralds, so I'm really tempted. But I just no. I'm actually. What do I need unbreaking free for? Not a lot. You know what? I'm just gonna buy the bullet and I'm gonna do this. I'm I'm just gonna get this. One. And on breaking free and everything. Now I gotta do mending and looting. So only two more, which is actually not that bad. Okay, I got mending. Right, that didn't take any time at all. 
So, let me look at this trade. I'd like to point out, by the way, we're on day 50. Like, this is half of the work I put into a 100 days video. But uh, here we are. Especially if I didn't have enough levels. <laughs> and we're looting for... I don't have enough levels. Are you serious? I made the joke. One more thing I need to get done before I can say that my first objective is done. And that is to get this all never righted up. One last trip into the never. Now we just got to do this bit. And my first piece. And this should be piece 24. Sorry, the gravel scared me. <laughs> yep. All right, we're done. We're, we're done. We're leaving. We're going home. Oh, dear. I have zero gold. I've only just realized. I guess I got to go back in the caves for gold. I cannot believe that's what I'm missing. Oh, cool. Three extra 15 diamonds. I actually also think I'm done. Just to be safe, there's a little extra gold over here that I'll quickly grab. And that's 47 gold. Easily enough, I'm getting the heck of any out of here. We got ourselves loot in free. Well, I can officially tick off one of the tasks of getting pretty much full Neverite armor. I'm, okay, I need Feather Falling. I realized that, and uh, I feel like that's something I could do later. So I'm mostly ticked off. We'll just leave a little bit of that green area that's ticked off as is incomplete because that's the only thing I've got left to do. Uh, if I have worked this out correctly, <laughs> this is episode one. I've been playing Minecraft for 78 days. It's been crazy. All right, so this episode, I actually have a lot that I want to do. So let's just make a quick rundown of everything that I'm going to do. So for today's challenge i need to collect 54 elytras to fill a double chest and the best way to do that is to get myself an elytra and then fly around with fireworks obviously i'm gonna need a lot of fireworks to do that so the plan is simply to make myself a gunpowder farm and to make myself a sugarcane farm now to be 100 percent honest i've never made a gunpowder farm before luckily for me youtube exists and tutorials exist so that is the first thing that i'm gonna do is make myself a gunpowder farm now there is a list of things that i need to get which i'll quickly show on screen and the first thing that i need is 31 stacks of building blocks i have seven stacks so far so basically i need to fill my entire inventory with deep slate and so it's back to the caves i go there is definitely an argument to be made that deep slate is not the best material to use but i don't really care it gives me another excuse to strip mine and get some diamonds so uh hey iron so just to give you an idea, I need to fill this entire inventory full of deep slate blocks. And even then, I won't be done. So I'm going to be digging for a while. You know, I did this to potentially find myself some diamonds. And uh, so far, this entire room has dug out absolutely nothing. Hate my life. Hate my life. Absolutely just hate my life. It's, it happens all the time. Uh, this is exhausting. I am I'm so... Oh, come on! God damn it, Haven Ad. Not even that many. And that is a full inventory. So, I think I've done all right there. The seven I've got back there, I'm only a little bit short, sure, but took it a nice, pretty big room. There's some raw iron over there. No biggie. Didn't get any more diamonds. No biggie. Let's head back up. I think I can get away with that. Next, I need 13 stacks of trap doors. My God. All right, back to the wood curtain. Another visual representation of what I need. I need every single one of these apart from this 20 as a stack. So, uh, well, I'm going to need to chop down a lot more trees. Oh, well, there goes the axe. At least I've mined all the wood in the world. If I don't have it by this point, then there's something wrong. I am literally, like, 40 short, so I have to cut down a couple more trees. Oh, easy. Easy. I mean, we've overdone it, but still easy. Now, the rest of the stuff on here is kind of basic, and I don't think it would take me too long to get. So, I am just missing two things at this point, and that is snow and pumpkins. And I don't know where to get either of them. I've kind of put myself in a bit of a, a bit of an issue here. So, I'm going to have to go exploring a little bit. I sometimes just get really lucky, and this is one of those days. I did not know there was pumpkins literally like 50 blocks away from my village. Oh, yeah, I'll quickly show this as well. Still got some work to do, but I got a bunch of animals uh, just before I started recording here. Now, the guy says I need 16 pumpkins, but I feel like that's just for max efficiency. Six would be fine. So the only thing I need now is snow. I haven't seen a snow bio, but I feel like if I run around enough, eventually somewhere nearby, there will be a snow biome. So let me do a bit of a run, Joey, run, if you know what I'm saying. Another thing I'm also going to grab is a bunch of sugarcane. 
Aha! I wish there was some more pumpkins there. Maybe I should just grab them. I don't know how often I'm going to be here and how often I'm going to need snow. So I think I'm just going to fill my inventory. I'm sure no one's going to complain about that. The guy said, guess 16, and yeah, I've done all right. And that's everything. Thing is, that was technically the easy part. There isn't really a way to go about this other than to just do this. Now, the guide recommends you do it over a deep ocean. I'm not about to do that, but I will do it over this big ocean here. Well, I guess we'll just sort of watch the space and just go for it. Just to show you my uh, amazing building skills, as you can probably tell, uh, something's gone wrong here. And I don't really know what it is, so I'm going to have to basically deconstruct this and then reconstruct it again. I've only been building for about five minutes, so uh, go me. Do I have any idea if this is actually going to work? 100% honestly right now, not a clue. Alright then, so that is phase one basically done. We have now filled out pretty much everything down here. So now we just have to really do the walls and the roof and we'll basically be done. But I, I feel like progress is being made. And that is officially the last of it. Now it's just about doing little things to finish this off. There is one more task I have to do. And that is to cover up this entire area with Deep Slate and then we're done. It is also worth pointing out that whilst I am finishing this off, I'm on day 100. Also to give you a little bit of a timeline of events, it is currently November 3rd for me. So I still have a good 27 days to get stuff done. Basically what I'm trying to say is I've played a lot of Minecraft in the past few days. And uh, yeah, I'm having a great time. Remember when it said that I needed a very specific amount of blocks? Starting to regret not getting that very specific amount of blocks because I am... What's that, 20 blocks short? And I'm completely out of blocks? I have to go back underground for about 20 deep slate blocks. I guess to be safe, I should just get the stack. It doesn't hurt. We... I'm done. Okay, now to test it. So, moment of truth. I've just been AFK for half an hour, stood exactly right here, and... Oh, well, that's not good. Okay, this is not working, and we now have to figure out why. So the question is, is anything spawned? No, it doesn't look like it. So the thing is, I got it to work by leaving and coming back, which obviously is not a good thing, but I guess I'll try that again. So it works on the condition that I leave and come back. Good powder. It actually worked. Now, you can see the obvious problem. I can't just keep leaving and coming back. I guess to kill some time whilst I'm around it. Oh, here. I guess to kill some time whilst I'm here, the next thing I really want to work on is I want to make an automatic sugarcane farm. The good news is i know how to make one of these so this shouldn't be too bad okay and the idea is really simple basically all i need to do is set up a bunch of observers and pistons to knock them when they get too high they'll hopefully get pushed into the water and then go into a hopper and system right here a little bit of an update i mean if i'm not stood by it i'm getting a little bit of gunpowder so uh it's working So if I'm right, moment of truth, if I do this one, good. And if I do this one, good. So the redstone is fully set up, but unfortunately, this is yet to be perfect. There's a problem that you'll see with these kind of sugarcane farms is that sometimes they do this, where they get caught on the block. Now, I made something quite similar in 100 days in expanding world. And the solution to it was I put a minecart underneath it to pick up the stuff. And I'm pretty much just going to do the same thing. It worked perfectly the last time. So let me just do that again. I know for a fact there is people going to be in the comments screaming at me about the way I'm doing this. But uh, yeah, it may have taken much longer than I'm willing to admit. But it's now working. Basically, what will happen is every single time one of these shoot canes trigger it'll trigger like this obviously most of the shoot cane will just drop into the water like this it'll drop down into that hopper system right there but for the ones that don't like go like right here wait for it there you go they're slowly disappearing because the minecart underneath is picking them up and what that minecart does is as it picks it up it goes around and as you can see right there there is a hopper that feeds into this chest so it will slowly build up the sugar cane and whilst that's happening hopefully that's happening as well i don't know i haven't checked now with these two contraptions made in theory if i leave them for enough time they will produce enough gunpowder and sugar cane for pretty much anything i want and if it isn't obvious why i've made these two contraptions it's because i want pretty 
large amount of fireworks to be able to fly around the end with little to no issue. You see this build right here? You see right here? This is what I call the AFK shack. Because right now it is November 3rd at about half past 9 at night. And this is November 4th, 15 minutes past 11. So we are 14 hours afterwards. And so it's time to really test out how well these machines have worked. Alright then, so machine 1, this sugarcane contraption. Oh baby. Ooh, but I'm surprised it's not full. I'm going to be honest with you. However, I was never concerned about the Shrugan Game one. I was more concerned about this one. All right. Um, okay. Oh, okay. All right, then. I feel like that's not a lot. I'm not going to lie. But it, it does what we need to do because now we can make some fireworks. All things considered, I think I've got enough fireworks. <laughs> the worst part is this was pretty much the easy part when it came to the uh, this video. What I am going to have to do, though, is I'm going to have to make a trade. And a nice little deal. I believe it's you. Perfect. A mending book. And now we can actually begin the premise of the video. This is all the inventory I'm taking. It's now for me to go to the end. That grass really ruined that shot, didn't it? So for those who don't remember the challenge, I have to fully fill a double chest with elytras. Basically, I have to get the equivalent of about 54 elytras. The good news is it's early in the day. I've got plenty of time. I'm going to go and get me some elytras. Aha, here we go. There isn't a ship on this end city, is there? Uh, of course there's not. There is actually still reason to go in here simply because I want these guys. I no longer have an inventory full of everything. I just have a firework box. Oh my god, there's a second end city right there. All right, then. I can make this easy. Watch this. So, um, I... It, it's, it's, it's fine. That helmet doesn't have a break in free. Huh. Ah, uh, life has just become a million times easier. With the mending... That's just, that's amazing. That's so good. And let me tell you, that's gonna make this so much quicker. You have no idea. Ooh, lovely. All right. That is Elytra 2. This is N <laughs> Entity 4. Uh, there is no ship on it, so there's not really much of a reason for me to stick around, so I guess we'll move on. Uh, aha! Perfect. You! Get yeah, you! Wow. I am getting really lucky with these end cities. I think this is N City 6. No ship here, so there's no real point in me searching it. And another one. And this one doesn't have an end ship either. Okay, I started really lucky with these, but uh, this is not working out. And another one. My god, I think this is like the fourth one in a row where I've just not found <laughs> an end ship on it. Oh man, I'm getting quite unlucky here. And another one. And this one's got an end ship. I have three. I need so much more. Perfect. Now, if I've done the maths correctly, this should be about end ship 10. Ten. I think between the 10 end cities I've found, this is the fourth one that has an end ship on it. And then, of course, the elytra. I'm going to put the elytra in there. And don't forget the dragon head as well. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Another elytra in. Perfect. So, this should be end ship 56 that I've searched. I keep saying end ships. I mean end cities. I apologize. But this elytra... Fills up my first shulker shell. Look how many Elytras I've got. Which means we are halfway done in about 50 end ships in. Don't worry, by the way, people. I, of course, have been grabbing the dragon head every single time. Just quickly get myself an advancement. Don't mind me. Perfect. Oh, my. Oh my god. Okay. I need to be way more careful or else I will die. That was uh, that was not my smartest move. I'm not going to lie. That is my first elytra in the second shulker. I love it when there's end ships like right there. And then you come and literally look over here. And there's another end ship right next to it. One ship is there. One ship is here. And if I literally go, what is this, 50 blocks to the south? And there's another one. If I have counted correctly, this should be end ship 75. And when I say ship, I mean city. And another latch done. So this end city, a little bit special. Because this end city, if I've done my maths correctly, is end city 100. I can make it. Oh, I mean, it's not perfect, but what can you do? Hey, you're probably wondering, hey, Renan, where are you on your shulker hunt to the uh, to fill up all your boxes? And the answer is right here. This one, as you know, is full. And this one, with this elytra, I'm only five elytra short. So I'm actually doing all right. I have over a stack of diamonds. I have over a stack of gold. I have plenty of iron, my goodness. It is also worth mentioning as well, not only am I my last 10 mutton, I'm completely out of fireworks. So these last four and five stack that I have, I don't get the... Elytras in these five stacks. I've kind of screwed myself. 
So uh, a bit of a situation we've got on our hand. I only have a stack of fireworks left after this one. And uh, though I can't show you right now, I am one Elytra off completing our goal. So I really need to find this end city soon. If it's going to be so annoying if I'm going to have to leave to get fireworks to find one more end city. But uh, I have faith. I, I have I have faith that I could do this. I've got this. And this is the last stack. So I really, really hope I'll find this end city soon. <gasps> oh, okay, please. Oh, I see one. Oh, fantastic. And with this elytra, with this elytra right here. Boom. And just so you can see it. Two full shulkers of elytras. For those who were interested, by the way, I found 107 end cities. Obviously, I've filled two shulkers. For those who don't know, a shulker is 27 slots, so that's 54 slots. Which means I found 54 end ships. However, if I've done the maths correctly and I counted correctly every time, this end city right here with the ship with the final elytra on it, that should be end city 107. So for those who want to do the maths, for every two end cities I found, I found at least one ship, which I think is a pretty good turnaround. Whoop. Fantastic. No way. Absolutely not. Did I just glitch through the corner? <laughs> we'll do that again in a million tries for anybody wondering. And watch them flow in. This is actually really satisfying. I can't lie. That is a full double chest full of elytras. That is task two done. One anvil job later. Apart from the feather po <laughs> just how I said I ended last episode, apart from the feather falling, um, yeah, everything is good to go in my armor. Right then, I should, uh, just sort out my food and get on to the next task then. So the first two videos have taken about a day or two to complete. This one's probably going to take a week. In this chest is every single diamond that I need to make a full diamond beacon. I should clarify though that every single one of these diamonds have to be a stack. It's the same for iron, it's the same for emeralds. That is gold. So the plan is to make a full beacon of every kind, except never right, I'm not crazy. But to do that, there is a lot that I need to do. And I'm actually going to start off with getting a bunch of levels. And what's the best way to get myself some levels? Simple. I need an enderman farm. I have almost everything ready, but I do need carpet. Luckily for me, I've not just been dilly-dallying over these days. Can I just... Oh, excuse me. Oh, excuse me. Nope, excuse me. Thank you. Now, to be 100% honest, just like the gunpowder farm, I've never actually made an enderman farm before. Luckily, again, the power of you. YouTube exists, so not to worry. But this is actually going to be the first video I'm doing where I'm doing two challenges in one. But it's also going to be the longest challenge we do thus far. That isn't worth a reminder for you to like the video and subscribe to the channel and stuff. I don't know what is. Okay, next stop. The end. And oop. okay, I'm not too worried. This should be. This should be easy. I will already apologize for using Neverack as my building block. It's just the only block that I had a lot of. So, I don't really know what I've done here, but here, here's as far as I am. Basically, I've got to fill all of this with too high carpet, but uh, I don't have any more carpet, and I was only ever told to get the two stacks of carpet, so I'm going to have to, uh... well, that was terrifying. Anyway, let's, uh, let's go get some more carpet. You know, I think this is probably my favorite part about doing Minecraft big builds is this silently placing all these blocks until it finally comes together. And the sad thing is I won't know if it works until it's done. Still having nightmares about the gunpowder farm, I'm not gonna lie. And I'm a couple of blocks short again. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm here. I, I don't care. Yell at me as much as you want in the comments section. This, uh, it's not, it's, it's not meant to be pretty. It's just meant to be good. Ah. Ah, big one. Oh my god. Well, that went well. And perfect. Not pretty, but it, it works, or at least it should. And the last official thing, and then we are done is to take our name tag and did it, it, it despawn there's no way it despawned i moved two blocks away are you having a goddamn laugh now we're done and i did it properly thank god all right i just need to clean this up a little bit and they'll be good to go oh come on oh wow that scared the jeep out and they're all falling on me okay this is a problem 
I'm not gonna lie, it took much longer than I was hoping it would, but we got there in the end, lads. Well then, I guess, um... I guess we're done here take that challenge off the board i'm not joking that took me about two minutes to get to level 30. incredibly though we're not actually done here because there is one more thing i want to make before i can officially say this is where do you guys come from so as i say there's one more thing that i want to do before i can officially say this is off and let's add a level 30 enchanter here do that i'm gonna need some blocks and i'm also gonna need some wood because i realized i didn't bring it up and then i actually need to get an enchant table itself so uh let me just do that little bit of work and then head back. Now, to answer your questions, does it look terrible? Why, yes. Yes, it does. Does it matter? No, not at all. This should give me 30 levels. I'm breaking free book. Okay, so now I just got to keep doing this until I get feather falling, because I'm pretty sure everything here has a breaking free. Actually, my sword doesn't. Should fix that. Well, that didn't take long at all. Maybe like... The 15 minutes, I would say. With this enchant, I'm taking off the first challenge that I was supposed to take off ages ago. You know, I feel like I've done alright. I mean, this this is alright. I can't really, I can't, I can't really complain. I do just put looting on my sword. Now that all my gear is good, I guess the next task would be, I don't know, make a bunch of beacons and then fill those beacons in maximum blocks. You know, nothing huge. Okay, so there is technically five types of beacon in Minecraft. Gold, diamond, iron, emerald, and neverite. As I've already said, I'm not doing neverite because even if I played for the full 30 days, I'm not fully convinced I'd be able to do it in time. But that still means I have to make four beacons. And, uh, well, to start off, I'm going to actually need to go ahead and get myself some wither schools, 12 in total. Then I have to kill four withers before, well, <laughs> filling up all these chests with the materials I need. This is, a uh, this is going to take a while, but, uh, well, no time like the present. My life has become so much easier since getting this elytra. Um, ooh, we're going to take that before nearly killing myself, the usual. Oh, that was super quick. Oh, come here. Oh, wow. I am moving. Ah! Many months later. Pretty much every wither skeleton killed under the sun. We now have one more skull to go. There's skull 12. We are done. Now, I could easily take on four withers. I mean, I've done it a hundred times before. But I think in this case, I'm probably just going to play it safe and do the classic under the portal thing at the end. Cowardly? Yes. Do I care? Eh, not really. That being said, I don't think I've ever done this. So this can only go so well. Now, will he be stuck under there? I genuinely don't know. But, uh, eh, what's the worst that could happen? It didn't get stuck. Hmm. Dead. All right, I believe I've done it correctly this time. I have not. God damn it, Haven! And you had one job. All right then. All right, this should be correct. There we go. Only took us three attempts, but we got there in the end, boys. I should just be able to. Oh, uh, it escaped again. If you ever need proof that I kill a lot of withers in my video, then this is it because like this is the easiest thing in the world for me to do. <gasps> oh my god, will you go away? And so I saw it three and a half hours before I began all of this. I have now obtained four wither stars and all the gear that I'll ever need. Now I just gotta fill this with diamonds and this with iron and this with gold and this with, uh, this with, uh, this with emeralds. No biggie. Now there is at least one advantage of starting off here and that is in this room right here. I believe there is one of those chonker things for iron. Yes, there is. If I just dig around here for long enough, I should find a bunch of iron. At least that's the plan. And after that, I can then head back to that cave that I found in the first episode, I believe, and should find a bunch of iron there too, unless this is already connected. But this is what I mean. I mean, look at all this iron. This is going to save so much time. Look how much iron is just here. My god. The fortune free will be done in no time. <laughs> Oh, that's useful. Definitely keep that bad boy. Also finding a couple of pockets of gold. It's not massive, but you know, it's gonna, it's gonna help us get along the way every single pocket. I'd like to give a quick time scale. It's been about two hours since I started mining. And, uh, well, let me show you something really quickly. Here is my iron shulker, and as you can see, I'm basically done. <laughs> There's, th I don't think I need any more iron to complete this. And so, iron-wise... 
time. Done. Gold wise, I've actually got a little bit of gold over my time in here. I've done all right. That's something with mining diamonds. There's no real easy way to do it. You sort of just have to strip mine at the best possible level and hope for the best. And so that's kind of what I'm going to do. And I really wish there was a way to make this more entertaining, but I just don't think there is. I'm pretty much just going to have to strip mine for the next who knows how long. Just to give you an idea, this is as far as I've got. And I pretty much need to fill all of that, except I believe this needs to go to 14. So I have every stack here half filled with diamonds. That's 21 stacks of diamonds that I need, which I'm sure Future Haven will do the maths on how many diamonds that actually is. Uh, Current Haven is not. Current Haven is just going to place a bunch of TNT and hope for the best. I didn't get a single diamond vein, did I? Oh my word, that's embarrassing. Oh, nice, take long. Oh, it's a big vein too. It's a huge vein, actually. 13 diamonds, you know, I'll take that. Perfect time for another vein of diamonds to show up right now. Give it a second. Give it a second. All right, never mind. We'll try, though. I swear to God, I'm not cheating, I promise. <laughs> I can find some giant vein of diamonds. My god. Look at this thing. All right. Well, it's been about four hours and I would say I'm done mining. So here is an update after day one. Um, yeah, barely, uh, barely even a dent in it. But uh, hey, I'm feeling good about tomorrow. And uh, ending day two after another four-ish hours of mining, I've uh, nearly filled the top row. So uh, yeah, we're definitely making progress. It's just, uh, well, it's slow going. There's no, no way to sugarcoat that. Hmm. Right then. I've only been able to do in about an hour of mining today, but, uh, you know, got an extra stack. We've now filled the top row. Uh, I really wish there was more to show, but this is this is my life. Just strip mining. Nothing else to say. So today is day six of dine and mining, and this, today is going to be the day where I finish everything. Because if I just show you my shulker, look at that. I am one stack of diamond short from completing this entire task. And the thing is, this is only beacon two. <laughs> I still have an emerald beacon to trade for, and I still have a gold beacon to mine. Obviously, they won't be as bad. It won't take as long, but uh, I mean, we get off free gold. But if I just get myself a stack more diamonds today, which I assume will be maybe a couple hours of mining, I'll be good to go. Oh, this could be it. Oh, this is definitely, definitely it. I feel like Eren Jaeger at the end of Attack on Titan because, ladies and gentlemen, I have freedom. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. That's two. Now I've got to go do the... You know, I'm going to take a break, but I'm going to go do the gold one. Cool. Next plan is to go into the nether and mine up all the gold I can find. So this will also take a minute. I'm hoping this will be quicker than the diamond. In fact, I'm confident this will be quicker than the diamond. What am I saying? The diamond took a week. This is not going to take a week. So I have been here for a solid 20 minutes at most, and uh, yeah, I've already filled it. I don't have a crafting table on me. Thank God they put wood in the nether. So after 25 minutes... I got myself about three stacks of gold. So that's, considering I need, what, 24? That's about, oh wow, that's about five hours. Eh, it's probably still quicker than going in the caves. Everything is fine. No need to panic. I took half a heart from all of that. So, uh, good times. We, uh oh, I'm still a little bit short. Well, I can... Fix that really quickly. Actually, no, I have gold cooking back. I I'm done. Oh, cool. So, with all of this gold here and the gold that should still be cooking in this one, that means we are now done with iron, gold, and diamonds, which means the last one we need to do is emeralds. And uh, I'm going to be honest with you, this is the one I'm least looking forward to. This one's going to take a minute. All right, then I guess the most simple way to do this is to just trade for sticks. So, I guess I'm going to have to cut down every forest a million times over. Oh, boy. And after this entire forest has been cut down, I got myself a decent amount of wood. Is it going to be enough to get me all the emeralds I need? Absolutely not, but at least we could put a dent into it. And with 400 days passed on the board, there's enough emeralds to complete this bad boy. Oh god, is this satisfying. Right, let's start building some blocks. 
and that is gold done. So that is uh, enough beacon for me to make an emerald beacon, a diamond beacon, a gold beacon, and an iron beacon. I guess now I just gotta, well, make the beacons. And four beacons have been made. This is gonna be a very satisfying moment for all. Right, let's start with diamond. There we go. First try. Next is iron. And beacon two. Next up, I guess we'll do gold. Kind of overdid it on the gold, to say the least. And with that one done, that is every beacon. I mean, I'll obviously need to make it pretty one day, but I feel like that's a job well done. Um, go ahead and take a break if that's okay. <laughs> so I'm going to start today's episode with Matt. To breed the rare Axolotl, you have a 1 in 1,200 chance of getting it. And to get the Mushroom, you have a 1 in 1,024 chance of breeding that one as well. So roughly, you have a 0.0072 chance of getting both of them in the same hardcore world. Yeah. Now, there is some good news about this. Whilst doing some research, I actually learned that you don't necessarily have to breed the Mushroom Cow. You know what you have to do? You have to hit it with with a trident. So the plan is to find myself a mushroom, wherever that may be, bring him home, bring, bring him back. Then I have to go and get a trident. Luckily, I've got looting, so hopefully it won't be too bad. That's my Elantra chest. And then from there, we'll go and start with the axolotl. But let's at least start with the easy one, quote unquote easy, and find myself a mushroom island. I guess we'll just fly around until we find one. Oh, okay. Hello. What do we have here then? My base is only, oh god, a good 3,000 blocks away. No biggie. So I just kind of have to do this the old-fashioned way. They stick on me? They don't stick on me. Uh, oh god, this might be more awkward than I thought. And since the Elijah plan won't work, I have to do it the very, very, very old-fashioned way of getting you in a boat. All right, part one of this very dangerous journey has begun. We have the mushroom cow. Now I just have to uh, go get a trident. Hmm. Now, I don't actually know the chances of tridents dropping and spawning. So what I'll do is I'll just quickly do a little bit of a mass thing on screen again. I know everyone's favorite thing, maths. The one advantage I do have is whilst I was flying around, there is a couple of drowned spawners in this water right next to me. And so I don't actually have to go too far away for me to actually get myself some drowned. Getting myself a trident from said drowned there well that's gonna be a different question altogether all right let's find ourselves a drowned spawner is that one it is so now we just have to kill every drowned under the sun and hope that one of them drops a trident this will hopefully not take too long first trident here we go first, I, I, i'm already doing it now calling it now first try this is first try watch this bad boy oh man Trident number two. This is the one. I can already feel, already feel it. Already feel it. Or it's just 100%. Oh man. Third time's the charm, baby. Let's do this. God damn. I got two over here. The only one of these boys will drop a trident. I'm gonna go with this guy first. This guy looks like he's gonna give me a trident. Nope. Sorry, this guy's gonna give me a trident. I can already feel it. Look at this guy. He's so generous. Thank you, trident, my friend. Thank you, thank you, trident. 
Let's go! I think that was round five that I had to try it. That was so much quicker than I thought it was going to be. I'm not going to lie. I genuinely thought that would take forever. I think that took like four Minecraft days. That was only like an hour. Trust me, it's very well appreciative. Appreciative? Appreciate it. There you go. English, Daniel. It's your first language. Now, we have a very simple situation here. I just need to get channeling on this bad boy. That is not channeling. Luckily, I have quite a few attempts to do this. There you go. Going breaking free is a good start. And one mending book later, Trident's good to go. I should probably repair it as well, so I'm going to take a quick trip to the end. Do you know how easy life is when you have one of these things? I want you to pay attention to the Trident durability really quickly. Now oh, the trident's full. Any questions, anybody? It will be on the final paper. This is going insanely well. Like, I can't emphasize how well this has actually been going. Unfortunately, this next bit is kind of a bit sucky. I literally going to have to just stand around until lightning strikes. So I'm going to put myself right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave myself. I'm just going to go AFK. And what will happen eventually is a thunderstorm will strike. There's not really much else to say. When that time comes, I'll run over to my mushroom, hit it with lightning. Very, very frightening. Galileo and uh, we'll be good to go from there so um yeah this is gonna be fun oh is this this looks like thunder all right moment of truth this should work look at him I got him I got him. Ah, look at that guy. Oh, what a legend. All right, then. That is one down and uh, one more to go. It's a shame that that's all I'm probably going to use to try and pull this entire time, but uh, yeah, it was worth it. Ah, you shall be named Lucas. Well, Lucas, uh, eventually I'll get you a friend, but for right now, Lucas is here. Unfortunately, that was actually the easy one. The, uh, the next one is going to be so much more difficult to get because there is no tridents or no anything that I can do to get this one quicker. I just have to read it, and that is, I gotta go and get me a rare axolotl. Now, the two things I need to actually get this to happen is, firstly, I need to go and get myself some axolotls, and then I have to go and find myself a warm ocean. The good news is, I know where both of them can be found. You see, in my travels doing some caving, I actually did already find myself a lush cave, as you can, well, already know, see. And so I just need to find myself two little axolotls. Come on, where are you? There we go. Axolotl number one. Oh, can I... Excuse, excuse me, can you just... Oh, the axolotl number two, legendary. And there you go. Two axolotls. That's part one of this insane adventure. And the final part to this absolutely crazy plan is this right here. This should be a lukewarm ocean. There should be a warm ocean like right here somewhere. So this is what my life is going to be like. For the next couple of hours, probably, I'm going to go ahead and fill all of these water buckets with tropical fish, wherever they may be, and then I'm going to come back and slowly breed them, and, and as I mentioned, I have a 1 in 1,200 chance of getting the axolotl by breeding it. You know, if I get this on the first try, then I, I win Minecraft. We, we all agree on that, right? If I get this on the first try, I just win Minecraft. Well, worth a try. Worst part about this is now I just gotta wait. There's, there's no easy way to go about this. I just gotta wait for it to, uh, you know, go. So a solid hour has passed, and uh, well, this is as far as I've gone. Not, not very. Breeding is still happening, of course. Uh, I'm actually probably going to have to uh, very soon grab my first refill of these little bad boys. But honestly, it's not that bad. I'm just sort of passing the time by doing stuff in the background and hoping for the best. I assume I'm not going to get it here. Nope, he's not there. Right then, I guess I'm going to go refill on some uh, little guys. So it might not be perfect, but I think if I just fill this little area with as many tropical fish as I can, then hope that'll speed up the process. I mean, got some time to kill whilst I'm waiting for these guys to grow up. Oh, for God's sake, will you just go away? Are you having a goddamn laugh? Did I really, really just get a second trident? Really? Oh, man. So, yeah, I've done all right, all things considered. And these guys probably are ready for another breeding session. So now it's just a game of um, grabbing them and breeding them.
I have been doing this for a solid minute, as you can probably tell by all the axolotls in this little thing. You can also tell there is no dark blue axolotl in here. The only reason I'm giving an update right now with, with all the tropical fish and everything is because we have just hit day 500. Well, we're going to in a second. 500 days we have been playing this world for. I should also mention November 12th, so we're still only about a third way through the actual month, and I've done a decent amount, all things considered. Sadly, this is going to be one of those where I'm just going to have to keep going until I get it. There's, there's no easy way around it, so I uh, guess I'll go get some more tropical fish. Wait, 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 that's it, that's it, hang on, that's it, oh my god, I got it, thank god, I got it, oh my god, oh my god, where's it, where'd it go, where'd it go, where'd it go, oh my god, this is a mess, I don't know where it is, oh, okay, okay, where is it, where, where is the nerd, he's here somewhere, at least I, I really hope this is correct, I really hope that was actually it, or, and we really upset, I'm sure, I'm sure that was it, <gasps> yes, 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 right, I believe this is correct, hang on, <coughs> yes, yes, I got it, Screw you guys! Screw you all! You know what? Here, I'll be nice. Here you go, guys. Have some, have some free food. Enjoy your snacks. Oh, this is over. So, look at that. See you later, guys. Have, have fun. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, 521. That took so long. Oh, I'm also almost out of fireworks again. Let's get home. Two tridents as well. That's crazy. Oh, I'm so thrilled right now. And the four beacons have shown that I am right here. This one took a minute. This one probably took the most time out of them all. In individual sessions, I'll say. But let's make a nice little dam for my boy. There he is. Ah, this is, this is a satisfying day. This is a very, very satisfying day. That is another task off the board. There is the rare mushroom cow. And here is the rare axolotl. Oh, okay. I need to do less, less stressful tasks. This was, uh, this took so long. <laughs> well, thanks for watching. November 1st, 2021. I made myself a brand new hardcore world that would delete itself in 30 days. I set myself nine difficult challenges to do in those 30 days, which includes getting the amazing sets of armor and making every single beacon. 25 days into this challenge and I had now completed eight of the nine challenges I set out to myself. And in this final episode, I have one challenge left. Get every single advancement in hardcore my Minecraft. Can I do it before the world deletes itself? Welcome to the final episode of the 30 day hardcore challenge. So this is it. We've made the overpowered armor. We've got the four beacons. We grabbed all the elytras we could. We got the rare mobs. We made the auto sorter and we got the villager trader hall. Wait a minute, that, that didn't happen. Okay, so for those who have been following the series, they probably would have noticed that the last episode was about the rare mobs. Unfortunately, I did have an episode here where I built this house, including the auto sorter and the villager hut, but unfortunately, I lost that episode. I don't know how it happened, I don't know when the lost episode, but uh, unfortunately, that episode is now gone. I do apologize. There's only one thing left to do. I have to get every single advancement. This is, uh, this is gonna be fun. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I guess the best place to start is just get the end ones out of the way, which would require me to get some gas tiers and some bottles. And I also gonna need myself a spyglass. So let me go ahead and do those things really quickly. And so I just need four gas tiers. This should be easy. Well, let's get my first advancement out of the way. There you go. One down, about 700 to go. And there's five. All right, we're done. There's a bastion there. I haven't even entered a bastion yet. Well, then I guess I know what I'm doing now. Oh, booger. Oh, booger, booger. Booger. Oh, wow. There's what eggs. Oh, that was a mistake. Oh, this is really bad. <laughs> the noise is terrible. I just want to find a lodestone. And then I don't have to come back in here. <gasps> lodestone. Okay, okay. Let's get out of here. I only have two fireworks, but it should be enough for escape. 
There we go. I'm definitely gonna need more fireworks though. That's uh, that much I've decided. And four end crystals later, we are done. There is one little problem that I'm sure some of you noticed, and that is I have no more fireworks left. Now, if we look at the farms themselves, uh, I do actually have enough sugar cane. Sugar cane is not gonna be a problem. And as far as I'm aware, gunpowder is, it's okay. I could probably survive a little bit with that, but I want more. You guys remember the AFK shack, right? You guys remember when I when I snuck right here and had, had a little bit of an AFK? Well, uh, yeah, we're just gonna do that again. See you tomorrow. You know, I was gone for a very, very long time. I mean, we're on day 863 now. How is this all the gunpowder I've had? How, how has this happened? And now I have a firework shulker. So firework shulker, paper and sugar cane, and gunpowder. We are literally never going to need another firework this entire time that we're in this world, which is just, just pretty good. Should also get this bad boy whilst I'm here. There you go, that's another one. Don't really need you anymore, let's move on. And in the end, and now we can chuck off two more advancements. There you go. Two in one, the end again, and uh, is it a plane? All right, now I just gotta deal with this really quickly. Oh my god, I forgot to get glass. No, I forgot to get glass. Oh, I knew I should have rushed it. Oh, there's no way for me to get glass, is there? Oh, I'm a fool. I'm an idiot. I have to do it again. Oh. Six and a half hours later. Ever get that feeling? Deja vu. I was just right here, right? Well, I mean, for you it will be. For me, I uh, well, I've been gone for a while. And you need a mint, cool. And with that, that is everything that I need to do with the end. Now it's about doing a bunch of little ones that probably will not take that long. So uh, let me go ahead and start doing a bunch of this stuff. I spent the next hour working on some easy to get advancements. Just stuff that's out of the way that's not too interesting to talk about. However, it was when I headed to the pillager outpost where things started to get a bit interesting. This is one that I completely forgot about as well. There's like four or five you need to do with pillagers. So I'm just going to go ahead and deal with as many as I can. And that gives me voluntary exile. That gives me who's the pillager now. And once I deal with this, this should give me hero of the village. I need you to die. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Thank you. Right, now I got this bad boy. That's another advancement done when I decided to commit Sudoku. Well, if I've got any time to get a post model. There you go. And there's Hero of the Village. It wasn't as easy as it should have been, but hey, we got there in the end. Perfect. All right then. Um, unfortunately, the next one requires me to wait three nights for me to get the... Kill two phantoms with one arrow. No, I just have to wait a couple of nights. Isn't that fun? I'm not very good at this one, I'll be 100% honest. Got it! Alright, that wasn't too bad, actually. Now, with my time playing this world, I've purposely been trying to do stuff to uh, help myself with this exact situation. This is one of those times where this all come nicely. A balanced diet to eat every single food in Minecraft. I have done 38 out of 40. And if I'm right, the only two that I need left is the pumpkin pie and the uber apple. And the good news is, I technically have both this will give me the pumpkin pie perfect and a very long time ago whilst i was caving pretty much when i was mining the diamonds of all things i came across a spawner and in that spawner I had one of the i please pretty sure i put in the gold i did there we go so now i just gotta wait for my food to, to run out a little bit so let me uh let me go take some damage or something pumpkin pie munched that gets us to 39 perfect balanced diet item number 40 should be the enchanted golden apple. Eat everything that is edible, even if it's not good for you. I do have to get another piece of neverite because I forgot to get that for a hoe. Also, whilst I'm here, let me go ahead and do this. And those two are now done as well. Right, so I need to get another neverite ingot because I now need to get serious dedication. So let's just do a quick dig down and get moving on it. We are past day 900 now, by the way. So I predict... Based on the way I'm going, I'll be done by about day 950. We shall see. There's a couple of advancements that I've never got before, so I don't know how long they will take, but uh, yeah, watch this space. And that should be piece four. Fantastic. One Neverite ingot, and that is some serious dedication. Oh, it, it paused for a second and I got scared, but there you go. Serious dedication. Wait, is this thunder? Oh, this might actually be thunder. Yep, it's fun to... Perfect. Perfect. There we go. There's Bullseye. There's Hide Help. If I've done this correctly, Star Trader. Fantastic. All right, then. That's one. That took me way too long. Now I'm going to do this one, and this one's going to suck. Well, bugger. Oh, come on. I can't seem to do this. I 
I don't know how water ended up down here, but I'm not complaining. And Sniper's Duel. One other thing I've been quite fortunate in my times whilst caving around and everything is I found this ancient city. And I actually haven't got any of the advancements to do with the ancient city yet, so let me just sneak in here and do that. Let's sneak. There you go, easy enough. Give a bit of a status update, I've still got to look at the parrot, but it's just like, kill all the mobs. I'm going to finish off the never ones first, but what I'm also going to do whilst I'm here is I'm actually going to head over to these broken portals, and I'm going to grab the crying obsidian, because I still need to do the nine lives one as well. So that should be both of those. Take a strider for a long ride in a lava lake in the overworld. Oh, god damn it. All right, this should be good. There we go. Subspace bubble. I'm in a cave. Now, one advantage I do have is I actually have found a lava pool down here. So if I could just get a strider in here, I should be able to get this advancement as well. All right, it took a second, but we're back. All right. So the advancement says I've got to travel 50 blocks in one direction whilst on the strider. I hope this is enough. This should be it. Ignore the fact that I'm on fire. I believe I have counted out enough. So now it's just a straight walk over here. And I should get the advancement. This one has been an absolute pain to get for the record. There we go. Feels like home. That was so unnecessarily difficult to do for the record. All right then. Holy didn't forget to not record not quite nine lives. There you go. Next up, we got to get Uneasy Alliance, which is to kill a ghast in the overworld, which is a... Uh, What's well, easier said than done this one? All right then. This is where the fun begins. I think I got it. I think I got it. I think I got it. It took so long, but I think I got it. It's here. Oh my god. I, I cannot tell you how long that took. That was infuriating. Oh my god. Right, we are done with this one. Let's move on. I have messed around. Got myself 10 of the 11 cat variants. I've also been doing some decent breeding. There's only three left, which as far as I'm aware, at least I'm following my notepad, is the hoggling, the frog, and the panda. So I just gotta go find those guys. And then I'm gonna mess around with these two. Catch a tadpole and then get three different types of frog variants, which I don't actually think is that bad. I've got some leads over here. So it's just a case of now finding the swamp, which I don't think will be that bad. Okay, this didn't really didn't take any time at all. Now I just need to find myself either a frog, which is right here, and then I need to find myself a witch. So I'm gonna have a quick look around, but at least we got some frogs. Aha! Perfect. See if it can as well. All right, where's the fish? There it is. Complete catalog. There's a lot of mobs here, actually. I should be careful. Am I gonna need any more than 21 slime? I don't think so. Oh, that should be should be correct, right? There you go, 20 out of 22. And there they are. Bucket, bucket. Three tadpole buckets. Okay, so that's the easy part. So now I've got to go and breed them, which I still don't know how to do that, to be honest with you. Ooh, jungle. Well, about friggin' time. And this jungle looks absolute... There's nothing here. There's nothing here. I finally find this jungle. There's nothing here. Oh! Alright, I found a second jungle. It took... Probably about two hours when we got there in the- Oh, I love it. I love this game. I hate my life. I hate my life. I wasn't recording. And I got two by two. And I don't know if I was recording the pandas as well. I, I hate my life. I hate my life. I, I got it. I don't care. I got two by two. Let's move on. Well. Oh. Oh, I didn't realize uh, I got it. <laughs> All right, then. There's frog one. Get myself a boat and head over to the desert over there. All right, we have one frog over here, which is in this plains area, which I believe just means it will spawn naturally. We have one tadpole right in here in the desert, which makes me think that it will be the warm one. And here's the cold boy. And here we go. There's one frog. And there's the second frog, the cold boy. When the squad hops to town, get each... Well, that's not... Oh, I guess it technically is on a lead there. So I've got the frog lights to do, kill all the mobs, and how did we get here? We are so close to completing. It is incredible. It should be good. We have to. I don't. I think you have to make it smaller. So we'll give that a go. But I only need one of each. So this shouldn't be too bad. Oh, they're already. This guy's already looking. Here we go. There's one. There we go. With our cow. There, 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 there. With our powers combined, have them all. Give you a quick rundown in adventure. Everything is done apart from murder every mob. But I know what that needs to be done in the end everything is good in the never it's just furious cocktail and how did we get here plus printer as far as i'm aware is all good to go as well fantastic minecraft is all good so for monsters hunted which is to kill every single mob as you can see i'm 31 out of 34 and i know exactly which is the last one it 
is a Zoglin. Now, I don't actually remember the last time I got a Zoglin into the overworld, but the point is, this shouldn't be too hard, I don't believe. And, oop. Fantastic. There you go, that's a Zoglin. And, monsters hunted. Kill one of every hostile monster. And when you unlock Furious Cocktail, you will then get the advancement, how did I get here? And that is to get every single potion effect in Minecraft at the same time. I have never done this before. This is going to be painful. Now, there is one little mistake I've made with this. And that is the fact that to complete this task, you need to get yourself a Wither Rose, a Wither Flower. And unfortunately, I never got one when I killed the Withers much earlier. Which means I'm going to have to go and spawn another Wither in just to get the flower. Which means I'm going to need to get myself three more wither skulls. Oh my god, look at look how much stuff spawned here. Wow. Oh my god, I've never seen so many mobs spawn in one spot. Whoa, look at this! Oh, that'd take long. Ah, there's three. That didn't take any time at all. Also want to point out, by the way, day 990. We are 10 days away from getting to day 1000, which is not, a, it's not something I actually expected when I started this. I didn't expect to get this many days in. Now, admittedly, I could probably do this a little bit safer, but honestly, I'm not that worried about this. Famous last words. You know what? I completely forgot why I was doing that. I am so lucky. I am so, so lucky. I completely forgot why I was doing that. And just, Jesus. I mean, there was a couple luckily, but uh, wow, I got away with one there. Now, getting how did we get here is uh, it's complicated to say the least. Long story short, after watching multiple YouTube tutorials, I've messed around a bit and I've got basically everything I need in this chest, and I've got everything that I need in this chest. Now, that's everything that I need, including two of these beacons, because we're not officially done yet. I'm going to have to deconstruct these two beacons, and then we're going to have to go back to the deep dark. Now, I can't show exactly full process on how to do this because in my opinion it is quite complicated. The tutorial that I am following, in case you are interested, I will leave a link in the description. So if you want to know how to get this advancement, then obviously just go there. But just know that for myself, um, I'm just following a tutorial and hoping for the best. Do I think I'm going to be able to do this first try? I, I really hope so because I've only got one shot at this really. I should probably say that this is it. This Today, this recording is happening on November 29th. I know that I said... It ends on November 30th, but due to life reasons, I don't have November 30th. This is it. But if I don't get it during this one attempt, then that's, I, I failed. It's over. I'm done. I have one shot to get this, and that's kind of scary. We're also literally five days away from day 1000. That is kind of crazy to think about. I have officially obtained every single thing I need to get this advancement. How did we get here? Now I just have to... Oh, I don't know. Get the advancement. Famous last words, I know. So it's kind of hard for me to show exactly myself making this because I'm just going to follow a tutorial. So uh, let me just do a little bit of editing and uh, get to it. So uh, just uh, watch this space. Let's, uh, let's get moving. So I messed up. I was under the impression this will only take a couple of minutes. Just going to go down here and set it up. It's been two and a half hours, and I, I have I messed up. I forgot about the dolphin. I forgot about the shulker. I forgot about getting all the extra effects. The point is we're here now. We're here now. We're just going to do this, okay? We're going to do this. Here we go. And I don't have it. I have missed something here, and I don't know what it is. I don't know what I've missed. Something's gone wrong. I don't know what it is. That's really sad. That's really, really sad. I don't know what happened. I don't know what I've missed. But I, I only had one shot of this, and unfortunately, that was uh, that. was that. Well, there's not really much else to say. I, I thought I did it correctly. I didn't do it correctly. I only had the one chance to do it. So maybe somebody could point out where, where I messed up. I'll quickly run back over and show you. I mean, the Wither Rose, I had all the potions in there. I must have missed only one. The, the, whatever I've missed, I only missed the one, which is really disappointing. But what, what can you do? Well, sadly, I don't really have much else to say. I did every... I didn't even get Furious Cut 
cocktail. So I very clearly did something wrong. I just I just don't know what I did wrong. But hey, I, after 1,030 days, I feel I feel like I did a lot. The house I feel like looks pretty cool. I got the four beacon. Yeah, I did eight of the nine challenges I set out to do. And the only reason I didn't do the final one was because of this. But uh, I mean, there's not really much else to say. Hey, if you've watched one episode or every episode, I thank you so much for watching this series. It's been a lot of fun to make. Maybe I'll do it again sometime. I thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.